Good morning, children. In previous class, we have completed ionic bond topic. Today, we are going to discuss about one more type of bond, chemical bond, that is called as covalent bond.
सिंगल कोवलेंट बॉन्ड सेकेंड वन इज डबल कोवलेंट बॉन्ड थर्ड वन इज ट्रिपल कोवलेंट बॉन्ड Sharing of electrons between two atoms can be taken place in such a way that it can form three different types of bonds between similar elements, the similar similar elements or similar atoms of elements in the form of single covalent bond, double covalent bond, triple. So the answer to this single covalent bond. Best example means what? There exists only one bond existing there itself between atoms of elements. Between atoms of element there exists only one single bond. Best example for this one is formation of fluorine molecule. A best example for it is what? Formation of fluorine molecule. If we go for fluorine molecule, the symbol of fluorine can be represented as with the F capital F. Its atomic number is nine. It belongs to seventh A group element, and its electronic configuration is one S two, two S two, two P five. First shell K shell is having two electrons. Second shell L shell is having seven electrons. These seven electrons are called as valency shell electrons. Valency shell electron. It require one electron to attain stability. To form a fluorine molecule, we require two fluorine atoms. Next one in a Lewis dot structure. If I represent them itself, to represent Lewis dot structure, we have already studied clearly that. Valency electrons will be will be playing a vital role. Therefore, I am drawing it as F, a fluorine, and we are having how many valence electrons there? Seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This gives a Lewis dot structure of one fluorine atom. Similarly, if I am going for another fluorine atom, then it says. If I go for another fluorine atom whose atomic number is nine, between similar atoms, similar elements, the bond formation is taking place. Whose electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p five. Its valence electrons are seven in outermost shell. If I go for another pair that itself, if I go for another fluorine atom, I am taking here as another fluorine atom having how many electrons? Seven electrons are outermost valence shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, as well as seven. So it requires. Therefore, what happens? A bond will be get forming between these two fluorine atoms there itself. A bond will be get forming between these two fluorine atoms, so that this electron is shared by this fluorine, and uh, this electron is shared by another. Fluorine molecule, so that it forms a bond. That bond is called as sharing of electrons. This electron of this fluorine atom is shared by this. This electron of this fluor of this fluorine atom is shared by this. So that mutually sharing of electrons between two atoms will give results to one bond. That bond is called as covalent bond. As it is sharing only one pair of electron, it is forming single. Covalent bond, and how we can represent the result? If I take any one fluorine, have one, two, three, four, five, six. Next of all, take another fluorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gives rise to a fluorine molecule. The bond that is existing, it is called as single. Covalent bond. 
single covalent bond in this way a single covalent bond will be formed best example for that one is fluorine molecule double bond in this one two bonds will be existing there itself best example for this formation of double bond is oxygen molecule if you go for oxygen an atom whose atomic number is 8 which belongs to sixth a group element electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p4 first shell is having two electrons second shell is having six electrons therefore it require more two electrons to attain stable electronic configuration stable element nature of neon of neon therefore lewis dot structure if we take the lewis dot structure of oxygen we consider only valence shells electrons therefore oxygen i have taken the reason having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Similarly, take one more oxygen there. If you go for another oxygen there itself, whose atomic number is eight, electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p four. First shell is having two electrons, second shell is having six electrons. Therefore, if I go for another oxygen atom there itself, it is also having valence electrons is equal to six. If you go for oxygen there itself, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So that these two are combined together, and a bond will be get formed. How it will be get formed? Here is one oxygen atom. Here is another oxygen atom. And the electrons one, two, three, four, five, six. Here if you put it up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So sharing of bond will be taken. These electrons here, two bonds will be get formed. Therefore, this together, these two electrons shared by this oxygen atom and form octet configuration such as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similarly, this fluorine atom, this oxygen atom shares. Electron. These two electrons by this oxygen atom and form an octet configuration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, here how many bonds are there for us? Two covalent bonds are there. Therefore, this molecule is called as oxygen molecule in which two covalent bonds are existing. Covalent bond is for sharing of electrons between. Two individual atoms or group of atoms of elements. Here, to form oxygen molecule, we are sharing electrons. Here, two electrons of oxygen, one oxygen is sharing with the two electrons of another oxygen atom of element, and forming a molecule. That molecule is called as oxygen molecule. By this, we have completed. The best example from to form triple bond, triple covalent bond is formation of nitrogen molecule. How a nitrogen molecule can form a triple bond? Let me go into. If you go for nitrogen an atom of an element whose atomic number is seven, which belongs to fifth A group element. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. If you go for first shell, it is having two electrons. If you go for second shell, it is having three electrons. Therefore, these three electrons. If you go for this one, it is having five electrons. Sorry, not three. Five electrons are existing. Therefore, it is having five valence electron. It require more three electrons. to attain stable element electronic configuration of neon so to attain that one it, it required three electrons more 
Similarly, if I go for, if I represent it with Lewis dot structure of nitrogen, nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five electrons with ionization. This is a Lewis dot structure of a nitrogen. If I am going for one more nitrogen than itself, say whose atomic number is seven, which belongs to fifth group element, electronic configuration is one s two. 2s2, 2p3, valency electrons are 5. If I take one more diagram than itself, another nitrogen molecule can be get represented in such a way that having 5 electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can give it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Totally 5 electrons are existing in valency orbit. Now, together, if I am taking it up together, there itself, nitrogen, first nitrogen is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Another nitrogen having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, it requires three electrons, it requires three electrons. So that what happened? This electron is shared by this fluorine and this nitrogen atom. This electron is shared by this nitrogen atom. This electron is shared by this nitrogen atom. So together it forms one nitrogen molecule having eight electrons in valency shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similarly, this nitrogen also requires electron, therefore it will share these three electrons will be shared to this one nitrogen atom so that it forms a triple covalent bond that is itself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that three bonds have been get formed, therefore it is called as triple covalent bond. In this way, with its similar elements, if we go for it, a covalent bond. Sharing of electrons between, sharing of electrons between at two atoms of an element of same, a covalent bond is forming. We have seen it up clearly. Three types of bond: one is single bond, double bond, triple bond. Single bond, best example, I have taken as what fluorine molecule. Double bond, I have taken best example as what oxygen molecule. And a triple bond, the best example called as nitro.